Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's review is going to be a bit different because I do have a full set of the special edition or series three of Rainbow Junior High to review, but I kind of got impatient and didn't think I was going to have the full set so fast. So these ones are already out of the box, but, but I mean, they all practically have the same box anyway. So we're just going to take a look at Laurel's box. Uh, if you watched my toy hunt, you know that <laughs> we went on a journey to find this doll. And I'm so glad we finally have her. Here she's in her box. Rainbow Junior High, Laurel Devious, Gemini. You can see that right there? Here's her barcode if you were curious. Looks like it's got a sticker over it. That's interesting. And then here is the back. We have Laurel, Holly, and Crystal, because Crystal and Amaya are part of this wave. And it says, go back in time and meet your favorite students before they became friends and followed their creative dreams to Rainbow High. And I think she's been in the box long enough. I've been waiting for her, so let's get her out. Also, I think y'all are just gonna have to deal with this mini Bratz background for a little bit because I don't want to take it down yet. <laughs> I have like some pictures I want to do with it and I just have not done them yet. So it might be up for a couple videos, <laughs> but you're just gonna have to ignore it. Okay guys, so this is a video that I <laughs> filmed the first part for forever ago, like several months ago, because that's when I finished these and just never did the second half out of, you know, well, there was a lot going on around the time I got these dolls uh, personally. And also then just laziness got, uh, you know, was a factor. But anyways, we're finally gonna be taking a look at Junior High Series 3, so yeah, let's get into it. First things first, they all come with a comb. This is Kaya's, I'm pretty sure. Laurel had a gold one, Holly had a silver one, and then Avery had like a black one, but I could not tell you where those combs are at this exact moment, so please forgive me. At Junior High, everybody gets their own fun little bag. Here is Avery's, it's kind of like a canvas-like material. There is rainbow stitching, pleather sleeve or straps with functioning jump rings. We have the little pleather hangy thingy in RH right here that does open. You can see there's little buckles for these little pockets that are functioning pockets as well. And yeah, that's Avery's. Super fun, super cute. I like how simple and sleek it looks. Love the rainbow stitching. Laurel and Holly, of course, have matching bags. I believe it was Crystal that started this like type of bag too. So we have a purple one with like a purple satiny, like satiny, shiny metallic fabric with Holly. And then Laurel has red, gold details on Laurel, silver on Holly's, RRHH. And then here are the straps. They kind of function with this weird little string or chain thing. And they're a little weird. I don't really love like this type of strap because it just, it's kind of strange. But you can see Laurel's has gold hardware and Holly's has silver hardware. And then you have like the orange and the blues stitching, you know, their accent colors. They both open and they're filled with paper, of course. I'm gonna be trying to do Holly and Laurel together because they're basically the same thing. So it seems kind of redundant to do them not together. And here is Kaya's it's white pleather, unfortunately. So uh, like, I think it's already peeling a little bit. You see that? Or no, is that just the paper? Oh, maybe that's just the paper. Yeah, okay, never mind. I thought it was peeling, but I think that's just paper. Anyways, it has cute little heart details. We have this fake zipper moment going on here. A little RH heart hanging off of it. There is that fake zipper effect again, and then this velcros and opens up. Oh, she has plastic instead of paper right there. Interesting. Pleather straps on both sides, gold hardware. Super cute. I really like her bag, actually. Probably the best part about that doll specifically. Right, moving on to our dolls. Here is Avery's face. Let's see if I can move that bang out of the way. She has like a white shut liner on her lid, like a white graphic liner. Smokes it out with a deep purple, and then there's a light lavender purple on top of that. And then there's her browns, just a light brown, super cute. And then she has these pink, glossy, shiny lips with some blush. Uh, her eyes a little, a little crazy looking, but it's fine. It's fine. I mean, I just need to kind of like move that over a little bit, maybe. She look less crazy now. A little bit, a little bit. Anyways, moving on. So this is our first Avery with rooted hair. Thank God. Can we please 
ooh, maybe like a budget version that has rooted hair, like the Series 3 budget dolls of the uh, what do you, fashion show, I guess, is what they called it, doll, fashion trunk. That would be great. But it's the same hair as like her wig. You know, it's like a lavender, very pretty, uh, tons, tons, tons of this tinsel. I probably could have done without the tinsel, but I know why they added it. It is... I think a little bit nicer tinsel than usual, but you know, it's still, oh, and she has this funky little ponytail <laughs> that's not supposed to be there. They do that sometimes in the packaging. Ooh, come on, come on, girl. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's just flat, it's supposed to be like flat hair. So love that for her. Very, very stiff bangs. Not a lot of product in the actual hair, but more towards the end, especially in the front two pieces like usual. She's wearing a silver necklace that is covered in glitter with blue or rainbow, I guess rainbow stars details. She does wear this necklace as like a teenager uh, or a high schooler in the show. And this necklace does fit the other doll, by the way, just so you know. So eventually I'll be getting another one for my own Avery or my other Avery. But yeah, love that we got this in some form. So I really, really love this top. It's made from like a denim like material. It's dark black, of course dark black it's black there's rainbow stitching on the sleeves and it's kind of like an off the shoulder sleeve moment there's some holographic straps holding it together with silver hardware there's little studs on the front lots of cute little stitching details i believe these are just fake pockets yes these are fake pockets but you know the detail is still there although i guess i'm missing a stud on one of them this one has a stud this one doesn't so i guess that fell off uh, these dolls were like on my bed for a while so that would make sense and I love like the structure it has, like it's really cool, really fancy. And there's stud details down here as well. And then the skirt matches it. I love this little like skirt pattern. I'm not sure. It's very like Y2K is what it reminds me of, like early brats. Um, well, not or even early brats, like, like 04, 05-ish, maybe. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Uh, anyways, it's made of the same material. There's little belt loops, lots of rainbow stitching as well. This whole pleated section super cute that just uses velcro in the back and it has a black ribbon strap was well, not ribbon a black mesh strap to hold it in place she has silver painted nails and then she has these super cute platforms super love these so cute uh white straps silver rh on them and then the soles are rainbow i love these oh and they're black heels by the way i don't think i said that all right for holly and laurel i'll do the faces separately and then i will do everything else together because they're basically wearing the same things so here is holly's face oh, lots of blue shadow on that lid there's like a lighter blue and then there's a like a darker blue to line it out and then it's really smoky and pretty on the crease purple eyeshadow underneath the eye with a pink metallic glossy lip super stun and little light brows and they do have a new sculpt so their eyes are smaller just like the original dolls and here is laurel's face i think she's so so gorgeous she might be my favorite one of this line i just really love her and obviously y'all know i went on a freaking manhunt for her so anyways we have some red shadow on the lid but there is a little bit of yellow gradient gradienting being blended into that towards the front of the crease there's a light like orangey color shade down underneath her eye and there's also more red smoked out just like laurels with the blue but with reds and then we have this like peachy lip that's shiny and glossy super pretty with red blush darker brows than her sister super cute. their hair is like really messy because i carried them around with me to a couple places so please ignore that but <laughs> both of them have their hair pulled up into a ponytail on opposing sides so right side left side the same hair blend as before nylon of course uh, avery has nylon too i didn't say that and then they both have little bangs in the front with little tendrils hanging down that just do not want to cooperate so just like their original dolls love that for them they both have scrunchies in their hair that are you know their color scheme blue the blue gradient and then like the red gradient and then they both have three hair clips each two of the like little rainbow high like coin looking things medallion i don't know uh Hol holly's is silver and laurel's is gold rr on holly's side and then hh on wait no sorry laurel's side rr on laurel's side hh on holly's side i'm getting myself mixed up here 
<laughs> Y'all get the gist. All right, their dresses are made from this satin like material. It has this very luxurious looking, like is it Versace maybe? Versace like print. And then it has, I think it's Versace. I hope it's Versace. Uh, Holly's has the red gem on her bow. I really love this little bow structural piece, super cute. I do think my Holly's or my laurels is a bit like wonkily sewed, unfortunately, but it has these cute little, you know, red and pink straps. The print goes all the way around, uses Velcro in the back. And Holly's is the same thing, but in blue and silver colors. Okay, I think the dogs might be done barking. Uh, anyways, there is Holly's bow. It has a little purple gem in the middle and then blue and purple straps as opposed to like orange and pink, pinkish purple. And then Laurel has a white t-shirt under hers and Holly has a black t-shirt that is also a separate piece that uses Velcro. So yeah, love that. They both have their little gradients. I mean, I feel like the bows are supposed to be like, this is how the gradient works, right? This is how it's supposed to go. Like it's supposed to be a rainbow type of moment, but I don't like that the bows are on the same side. Like I feel like they should be on this, whatever. Anyways, you can see their nails. They're all sorts of different colors. And then they both have a pair of knee-high mesh socks. Laurels are white and Holly's are black with their matching shoes. We have gold shoes with Laurel with white bows and silver shoes with Holly with black bows. You can see there's a white gem on Laurel's and a blue gem on Holly's. I don't know why I'm having a hard time. I don't usually have a hard time knowing which one is which, but here right, we are. Lastly, we have Kaya. <laughs> Kaya, once again, is probably my least favorite uh, of this collection. She's just very bug-eyed looking to me. I don't know what's going on there, but her makeup is similar to original, but I will say it's better than the original doll. We have pink on the lid and then smoked it out with a little bit of brown shadow and then a pink glitter underneath. That's kind of like a wing moment. I don't know. She makes weird makeup choices. And then she has like bubblegum pink lips, super bright, super neon. Oh, and she does have sculpted edges now. I don't think, did her original doll have this? I can't, no, she doesn't. I'm looking at her, no, she doesn't. Okay. Her hairstyle is similar to her original dolls, but less complicated. In the back, we have the free flowing hair. I really love this hair blend. It's such a shame it's used on Kaya. Um, sorry, sorry. I just, Kaya's not my favorite doll. Uh, maybe once they, like, she has so much potential, I feel like, but they just have not done it for her because this hair blend's gorgeous uh anyways you know the pastel pink with the pastel rainbow we have two very very producty gelled curls in the front with a sweet hair clip two pieces of hair are tied up in the front these little pigtails and then a dream hair clip on this side and once again some more crunchy curls i do think her outfit's pretty cute i just think it's a little boring but it, it's cute it gets the job done she's wearing this like very light very light pink it's like almost like white but it's the very slightest tinge of pink mia moore sweater hoodie moment i love the little cuffing details lots of stitching details this is just like a decal we have functioning drawstrings there is a hood in the back that uses velcro as well as the actual hoodie sweater whatever you want. i think it's this is a hoodie right yeah it has a hood uh using velcro as well and then there is cuffs on the sleeves too she's wearing a holographic pink skirt they must have had leftover fabric from her original doll's pants these are not real pockets are they no they are they're real pockets i lied those are real pockets i literally had her post like this a second ago i knew that they were real <laughs> anyways holographic skirt with rainbow stitch details there is is it, i can't even tell if it's gold or silver because like i think it's gold a gold stud and then it uses Velcro in the back. And those belt loops do go all the way around. So love that part. And then she has this little cute pair of struffy heels. I do like these, these little platforms. Uh, they have a little white or like that soft pink detail right here with gold buckles. There's little glitter hearts all over the back, white dots. These are very cute. And then like a translucent pink strap. All right, guys, so that is Junior High 3. I guess Amaya and Crystal are also technically a part of this wave. So, like, oops. So, I guess you can add these two here, and then, boom, there's your full set. 
very weird decision for sure. <laughs> I have seen Amaya in the new packaging, but I have not seen Crystal in the new packaging yet. So that's something to keep an eye out for. I still kind of need to get a new Amaya. Mine's a little funny. But anyways, I think this series does a really good job with the fashion for the most part. There's an outlier. Uh, but yeah, I like this series quite a bit. I was surprised that I liked them as much as I did. I mean, y'all saw me go crazy for them, looking for them, and then I got them, and I was like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, as always. And if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe and follow my socials, and I will see y'all next time. Bye! Click, click!